Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, I'm gonna go over a build that I'm actually destroying people in Crucible with, especially within Season of the Worthy with some of the changes. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. So let's talk about this build. This is a slightly updated build for Season of the Worthy based on some of my previous videos, which I will link here. The key to Hunter builds is really about mobility and movement. That's really the key. You need to build your builds around that because that's the strengths of this character. The other the key to these uh, builds is, is in picking your weapons. And when you pick weapons, you're going to want things that are a little bit more forgiving. You're going to be dodging, moving around, using your mobility. So you're going to want things that are a little bit more forgiving when you're shooting your gun. So first off, to start off any hunter build, you're going to want to try to get your mobility up to 100, as close as possible. Again, first off, that's going to allow you to be very mobile. It's also going to allow you to generate your class ability very quickly. That's how it works with the hunter. If you have the Powerful Friends mod from previous seasons, this will be really useful because you can use this along with an arc mod to increase your, your mobility really quickly by 20 from one mod. This will allow you then to spend more points on resilience and recovery on other armor pieces. The other thing you can try to do is use traction if possible. That gives you an additional 15 hidden mobility. The other thing you could do is try to farm armor. And for farming armor, you're going to want things to have low mobility but higher in some of your other stats because that way you know you can get your mobility up to 100 by doing things with some of the mods. That way you'll be able to get as close as possible to 100 mobility, 100 resilient, and 100 recovery build. While it isn't necessary, you don't have to do it all the time, that does help you. It basically allows you to be a well-rounded character. For this, this build, we're going to be using the Top Tree Night Stalker, which will allow you to get your dodge back in about 10 seconds if you use the maxed out mobility. So when you do that dodge, you're also going to go invisible. We're going to add to that the ability of getting two dodges with six coyote. This will allow you to get an additional dodge like I talked about before. If you use Top Tree, then you can stay continuously invisible after you dodge. It's very useful. So again, you want to go use weapons that are forgiving. Last season, I used a lot of sidearms, but with Season of the War, the auto rifles have gotten a huge buff and damage, so they can really contend well at mid and short ranges. There are many choices, but I love Gnawing Hunger. My particularly Gnawing Hunger has Tap the Trigger, Drop Mag, and Rampage, which is an incredible set of perks. This thing fires like a laser and quickly reloads. It's, it's really great, as you can see in some of these uh, clips that I'm putting up. Using this instead of hard light allows you to free up Wardcliff Coil in your heavy slot, which again within comp is usually a guaranteed one or two person kill, so can, you can get to the heavy. And then in the other slot, I will usually use like Mountaintop, Revoker, or Randy's Throwing Knife, depending on the map and how your teammates are playing. So for the rest of the mods within your armor, again, it's going to depend on your playing style. What I use is I use a lot of things that buff auto rifle, so I use auto rifle, things that help my reload, my aim, uh, things like that. In fact, with drop mag and with these extra auto rifle mods, it's crazy how quick I can auto load, which again, allows you to become that perfect killing machine even quicker. So it's, it's, it will allow you to really tear up uh, your enemies. The other thing I try to do is uh, I'll be dodging a lot, so I'll be using my class ability. So then I'll use things like distribution that allow me my other stats to come back quicker. Uh, again, that allow you to get your super quicker, allow you to get your grenades quicker, which is obviously really useful. The other thing with this build is obviously you're going to stay mobile a lot. So because of that, you're going to want to make sure you're at the right range when you're engaging with the with the auto rifle. A lot of times at mid range you'll be able to take out snipers because again they'll have a more difficult time at mid-range unless they're really good and then you'll be out of the range of sidearms and shotguns so again that's something that will be useful you'll be able to outgun them so understand that while you're playing this that's why i usually use like a mountaintop or a randy's or a revoker in the other slot if i have to engage something at long range that gives you really good coverage gnawing hunger can be found in the reckoning and I have another video that you can kind of look at that will talk through that. And that's it. There are variants of this build. I talk about that in another video, but there are definitely variants you can use with different exotics, but this is the one I use. I think it's been pretty successful. And again, with Season of the Worthy, auto rifles are just killing it. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Again, I make these videos so we can all talk about the type of builds we want to use and the type of things we want to do within Destiny. So feel free to like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.